So Bad Juju is back from Destiny 1 and this gun is damn good, especially for PvE. Not so much for PvP, so if you're curious about how to get this weapon, I will have my video of how to get, get it in the description below. So what's this weapon do? So Bad Juju used to be a must pick for, for Warlocks in Destiny 1 for the insane synergies that they could pull off with it. But how it's a little different now is that it can be utilized for everyone like hunters titans and warlocks alike and they can thrive with it so let's start with bad juju's perks string of curses is its main perk but instead of procking it like in d1 now it's a stackable buff and it stacks up to five times and kills refill the magazine increase damage for a short duration and grant super energy based on the strength of string of curses not only that but it actually fires full auto from what I've seen, this perk lasts like three seconds, three and a half, maybe. And with the per with the catalyst, it, it is at least like five seconds, making it longer than rampage, even with a rampage mod on it. This is what makes the weapon lethal in PVE. The sheer amount of damage and super gain in this weapon will be will give. This is what makes this weapon lethal in PVE. The sheer amount of damage and super gain this weapon will give is pretty insane. This isn't a weapon that will destroy bosses, but the amount of supers gained from this, especially if you pair with an exotic that somehow gives super, and with a subclass that already gives off super energy, can make this a filthy gun when it comes to super energy and all that other stuff. So this is what makes this weapon lethal in PvE. The sheer amount of damage and super gain this weapon will give is pretty insane. This isn't a weapon that will destroy bosses, but the amount of supers gained from this especially if you pair it with an exotic that somehow gives super energy and with a subclass that already gives super energy you can make this really filthy when it comes to super energy gain especially when a solar player gets their hands on it pvp i think this is where this weapon kind of falls short the actual gun shoots beautifully and there's almost no recoil at least on pc but i think string of curses base time is kind of low for me to use effectively but with the catalyst that where everything kind of changes a bit for me with five seconds i have more time to push to find more enemies or to wait for them to push this will be a fun gun to use especially if you pair with like recluse on your secondary so now that pvp is done i really want to talk about this gun in pve specifically some of the builds that you can do for example you could run gunslinger bottom tree with celestial nighthawk with bad juju and since ba bottom tree solar four hunters has practice makes perfect which when you get precision hits it reduces the cooldown of your super and with your with you getting headshots from bad juju you're not only procking the super gain but you're also re reloading your weapon and getting that weapon damage and even when you use your golden gun if you get a kill with it you'll get 30 percent of your super back super back because of celestial nighthawk so I would call this build Curse of the Nighthawk, maybe. Titans can, can use Bottom Tree Void with either Antius Wards or Doomfangs, with Doomfangs probably being the best one out of them. With this build, you would be in the thick of the fights because Bottom Tree Void has the In the Trenches perk where it kills while surrounded by enemies reduce the cooldown of your super with super energy from Bad Juju, and Doomfangs giving you super energy on Void melee kills. And when you use your super, just throw your shield because you have two shield charges and every time you get a shield kill with that super, you increase the duration of it. Like, there's so much synergy going on with in that one thing. It, I love, I loved it. I love it. This one I would probably call the Doomfang Juju. Last but not least, we have Warlocks that have probably the most synergies. So let's go with the best pick, in my opinion, which is arc metal tree with geomag stabilizers which will put in some nasty ass work this build will get will be giving you super energy from kills and can be topped off with the help of ionic trace from bottom tree which when you get a kill it gives you a chance to give you energy for your abilities and that does include your super so on top of getting kills with your bad juju you also gain some more from I ionic trace and after you're done fighting if you're close to your super geomags will just top it off and when you use your super, your duration gets doubled if you keep hitting something. So like for a total of eight seconds, this one would be filthy. I'd probably call this one like the bad stabilizers or something. 
So this doesn't even take into account the super mods, multiple gear perks that give you super on a certain action. Like this opens up so many possibilities and so many builds that you never thought would be filthy for a super game. And for my lone wolves out there, this will make soloing a lot of content so much more easier. I honestly love this iteration of Bad Juju and the potential it has to give us so much more ways to play. And with that being said, this will be the end of my review. This gun is great for PvE and a decent choice for PvP and a better one with the catalyst. Not only am I happy that we got Bad Juju, but I also have to give Bungie credit. I was not expecting another exotic quest. So good job, Bungie, dope shit. I wish I could get the ornaments without paying actual fucking money, but whatever, you done did good on this one. So what do you guys think about the gun? Am I wrong about it in PvP? Is it actually a monster? Probably, but I still need more testing to go that far. But let me get, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on my social media outlets. Links are in the description below, and I will see you guys later.